we're at the top of Longscar, which is above Rhino's Pass, and all of the volcanic ash here was an airfall deposit. So as the ash fell down, uh, there was air gas trapped between the ash particles as they, it landed, and that forms about 30 volume percent of fresh ash falls. And here we know this because in fact all of these round bubbles that you see, such as this, and down here, these ones, these are all the bubbles that the air formed as it was starting to escape from the settling gas. And these bubbles, they can end up being filled with finer ash particles as the stuff, stuff lithifies, or they can also end up with mineralization in them. So they might weather proud, or you might see them with quartz filling the bubbles occasionally. Here you can see the outer edge of this one is weathering proud because there was preferential mineralization at the edge of it. Whereas here, the outer edge is actually weathering away and you can see there's a bit of quartz in it with the center weathering proud. So when you see these round bubbles or round cavities in Lakeland volcanic rocks, it's airfall ash and they were gas bubbles originally. Go to oneminutegeology.net for more videos near you and for information about guided geological days out.